quiet, very dark. So now we start our Freaky Friday story time! Oops, sorry. I'm just really excited. Are you? Let's read this week's story. Hi guys. So before we start today's story, I always like to start with saying that sometimes stories can be scary. So with these stories, because they are already scary stories, maybe you want to watch them with your mom or dad, maybe your sister, your brother, your grandma or grandpa. Just a little bit of a warning for anybody who's going to be watching the stories. Okay, let's get to the book. Dead Red Eyes, Clark's Beach, Newfoundland and Labrador. Drowning claimed the life of another young woman whose spirit appears to have lingered after death. At least that's the explanation given for the terror three girls experienced at Clark's Beach on the island of Newfoundland in 1980s. At the mouth of the North River, Clark's Beach is one of the several picturesque drowns pounds, dotting the northwest coast of Conception Bay. The train no longer runs past the town, but part of the old railway bridge crossing the river is still there. That's where the teenagers were heading when they went for a walk on the summer evening. Once, it's also where they had the scare of their life. As they approached the Spain, the girl noticed a dark shape perched on them. Getting closer, they saw that it was a young woman in a bathing suit, drying herself with a towel. She didn't seem to hear them coming. Wondering who she was, they took a few more steps towards her. Suddenly, she turned and looked straight at them, and they froze in fright. Her eyes were glowing red like burning coals. Stumbling backwards, the girls ran, screaming from the bridge. Several residents weren't too surprised when they heard about this spine-chilling apparition that had left the three teenagers so shaken. According to them, the girls haven't, hadn't been the first to report seeing this disturbing vision of the spooky female and they might not be the last to do either. Some locals say she was the ghost of a young woman who many years earlier had gone to the bridge to meet her loved one at midnight for a midnight swim. When he didn't show up as planned, she decided to go swimming anyway, alone. That decision proved fatal. But every now and then, she still returned, searching for her lover, throbbing the darkness in her glowing red eyes.